years of nice, quiet anxiety. Gone. The Maker has a grand sense of humor. A shame. There were overtures of civility. Your influence, no doubt. What happened? A Konari delegate and entourage paid me a visit. It was civil, tentative, hopeful. They left my chambers with precision, but were not reported by the outer guard. They are missing, almost literally, from my doorstep. What do you imagine will be the Arishok's reaction? We need to get out in front of this, and fast. I feel I've been trying to turn a stampede for some time now. Someone is pushing very hard. Speak with Seneschal Brown. Then you will see why I cannot trust anyone else with this. You have information about the missing Kunari? I am to help you, yes. Viscount Dumas would appreciate discretion in this matter. I would prefer that you were not involved at all. But that is neither here nor there. I'm sure you have suspicions about what happened. My concerns are well founded. This could not have escaped the notice of the city guard. Unless they were involved. Have any failed to report? Several. You should start with one of them. Although where you find a swordsman so eager to sell his honor and duty, I'm sure I don't know. The hanged man. Hanged man. Got to be. Right. Then you know what to look for. I can't imagine this has occurred without notice. There is always a weak link. Hmm. Rich spending. It's a, a bit over your head, isn't it? That's right, pal. Tonight I'm paid and blessed. And all I had to do was turn my head. To all my friends. Hey, step back. I know important people. We're gonna show this city what to do with heathen oxmen. A guard captain, would you like to have a word with your man? Guard captain? Who? What? <gasps> Who? Who what? I don't... Who bought you? Who bought the honor of a proud guard of Kirkwall and made him a drunken Mabari bitch? I, I don't... I don't know. He was a Templar, I swear. He had the seal of the Grand Cleric and everything. It's true. The penalty for abandoning your post is ten days on the wall. I expect you to report in the morning. Uh -huh. mm. There's your answer. A Templar. With the Grand Cleric seal, no less. Well done. So, you're taking the Captain of the Guard to accuse the Grand Cleric of funding Zealots? It's a careful chat about missing Kunari. Some days, Hawk. The Grand Cleric, please. Tell her... Tell her it concerns the Kunari. Sarah Hawk. Sister Patrice. Mother Patrice. Time has changed us both. Grand Cleric Elfina cannot grant an audience to just anyone. What do you want? Funny how you and issues with the Kunari seem to go together. And you always assume their side. I was naive when last we met. I did not want you dead. But I felt a death was necessary. That may be too fine a point for you to understand. But you must admit, you came out the better for it. A Templar may have misjudged an order, and abused the Grand Cleric's authority. I assure you, the Templars would never embarrass the Chantry, at risk of the Knight Commander's wrath. Men were hired for the righteous task of kidnapping a Kunari delegate. A pause that says you knew, but does her grace. The Grand Cleric trusts her stewards to enact the wishes of the Maker. It sounds like you've been bad. This will shock her grace, no doubt. Stubborn. All right, Sarah Hawk. If you won't abandon this, 
Let me offer you something. The Templar you seek is a radical who has grown unreliable. Confronting him may do us all a favor. And he is what to you? He is my former bodyguard, Ser Von El. Assume what you wish, but I offer him to you as reconciliation. Meet me at this location. I invite you, Sarah Hawk. Come see the unrest these Kunari have inspired. Like any beast, remove the fangs and it is lost. They are weak before the faithful of the Maker. The only certainty in their precious cune is death before the righteous. Sevonel! Take a knee, faithful. The Chantry blesses us. You claim a blessing when you have used the authority of the Grand Cleric so openly? You have brought wrath down upon you. You remember, Sarah Hawk? The Kunari have friends, Templar. How will you answer their allegations? You want to fight? Face someone whose weapons are not bound. Righteous! Destroy them! Alright, time to bring this mess to the Viscount's attention. Madness! Madness! Yes, Excellency. Chantry involvement. Even if they are fringe elements, oh, it could not be worse. You killed them? All of them? A mother serving the Grand Cleric allowed this to happen. Are you quite sure? She held a blade with them? Told them to fight you? No, I cannot say that. Of course not. Blasted mother. You have no idea the storm these allegations would cause. It would destroy what support I do have. This may have scared her off. She claimed this was not her intention. Well, that is something. I will make my inquiries. Gently. And you should be careful in your associations. For now, we have other problems. We have the delegate, but... I can't return the bodies to the Canari in this state. Sarah Hawk. You know the Arishok. What should I do? Hiding this would only make it worse. It would, wouldn't it? I'm losing my sense of how to balance this nightmare. I appreciate your help in this matter. As bad as this is, it could have been much worse without you. Kirkwall owes you. I owe you. Enchantment! No, Leandra. Leandra. What's wrong, Uncle? There you are. Where's your mother? Is she feeling all right? I'm sure she's all right. Why are you so upset? Your mother didn't show up for our weekly visit. Is she ill? She is here, isn't she? No, Gamlin. We haven't seen her all day. Where could she be? With her suitor, perhaps? Suitor? Leandra never mentioned a suitor. Well, those lilies arrived for her this morning. White lilies. I know something about that. Don't just leave me waiting. What is it? There's a killer in Kirkwall who sends his victims white lilies before he takes them. He's murdered several women already. I know someone who might be able to help. Gascard Dupuy. No. You're wrong. Leandra is fine. Aveline will get the city guard to keep an eye out. Don't worry, Uncle. All 
All right. That girl will know what to do. Maybe... Maybe Leandra took another path to my house. I could have just missed her. I'm going back to Lotown. You should help Gamlin look for your mother. You might be able to track her more easily once night falls and the streets empty out. All right. The boy and I will stay here in case she returns. I told you already. I saw her. Did you see where she went? What do I get for telling you? Here's a few silver. Buy yourself some food. And new shoes. <gasps> That's real silver, that is. I'm your man, through and through. Tell you everything I know. That lady was here. She looked like she was going to take the bridge to Hightown. But then a man came up to her. He stumbled and fell over right at her feet like he was dead. His hands were all bloody, like he'd been in a fight. The lady shook him, and I think he said, help. She got him to his feet, and he was wobbly. Uh, it, it was funny. Anyway, they left, and that's all I saw. What did the man look like? He was a man. He had hair and a nose. And nice clothes. But they were all stained from the blood. The man left some blood. Where he fell over. You could follow it. Why don't you do what the boy says? I'm going to go home in case Leandra shows up. Never thought I'd say this, but Gamlin's right. My men can look for Leandra while we check the blood. Any lead helps. This blood is fresh. If we hurry, there might be a trail we can follow. You've been here before, haven't you? This is where you found the human remains all those years ago. We should have known there was something else here. Mother must be here somewhere. We need to look around. belongs to mother. What is this? That woman in the portrait looks like Leandra, doesn't she? This man is either very devoted or very insane. I need to find her, now. I was wondering when you'd show up. Leandra was so sure you'd come for her. Where is she? You will never understand my purpose. Your mother was chosen because she was special. And now, she is part of something... greater. I don't want to hurt anyone. Release my mother and we'll go. She's here. She's waiting for you. I have done the impossible. I have touched the face of the Maker and lived. Do you know what the strongest force in the universe is? Love. I pieced her together from memory. I found her eyes, her skin, her delicate fingers, and, at last, her face. Oh, this beautiful face. I've searched far and wide to find you again, beloved. And no force on this earth will part us.
mother. I knew you would come. You know me? I always save the day. Shh. Don't fret, darling. That man would have kept me trapped in here. Now, I'm free. I get to see Carver again. And your father. Do you'll be here alone. I'll be fine, Mother. My little girl has become so strong. I love you. You've always made me so proud. Did you find her? I'm sorry, Uncle. She's gone. You were right about the flowers and everything. I... I can't believe she's gone. I was too late. So you're to blame. If you'd been quicker or stronger, you could have... She could be... <laughs> Why her? Why Leandra? Mother's gone. Will knowing why ease the pain? No, it won't. It will always seem senseless, won't it? Where's the one who did this to her? Did you find the person who killed Leandra? He's dead. It won't bring Leandra back, but I'll take comfort in knowing that. Bethany needs to be told. I'll send a message. Hopefully it will reach her wherever she is. Take care, my dear. You know where to find me if you want to talk about it. I understand if you don't. It is apparently not enough that the Kunari define my political life. They must also infect what I hold personal. It is my son, Seamus. The life you saved, he would now squander by converting to the Kun. He has left for the Kunari compound. Please, Sarah Hawk, convince Seamus to come home. You know this will only end in trouble. Fitting. That's where it started. My son is not foolish. He will listen to reason, and you are in the best position to offer that opportunity. Please, do what you can. Sarah Hawk. I'm here about the Viscount's son. Are you? In four years, I have made no threat, and fanatics have lined up to hate us simply because we exist. But despite lies and fear, Bars still beg me to let them come to the Kuhn. They hunger for purpose. The son has made a choice. You will not deny him that. Converting the Viscount's son? His opposition will have a field day. And? The enemy of your enemy should be your friend? I don't fear the whole of them together. And it is not my role to reject the free choice of Vidathari. The son responded to his own demand of the Kuhn. He is neither my slave nor my prisoner. He is not even here. He went to his father. Ask the Viscount why he would send you and the letter both. That seems strange. They are meeting at the Chantry. A last pointless appeal, I assume. I doubt he'd involve the Chantry in such a personal matter. No, but we know who would. Mother Patrice. A suspect in many things. If she has threatened someone under my command again, there is only one response. Don't make things worse by marching your men through the streets without cause. This is cause. This is the last insult I will suffer, Hawk. I will be watching. 
the Dathari are of the Kuhn. This offense will have an answer. Hawk, look at what you have done. To pounce upon the Viscount's son, a repentant convert in the Chantry itself. A crime with no excuse. Your Kunari masters will finally answer. All this will do is make people hate you. I have kept the fear of the Kunari fresh in every sermon, every prayer. They will know whose word to believe. When people learn of this attack, they will rise. Not zealots or the unknowing, but the true majority. You won't get the Kunari ousted. You'll get a slaughter. On both sides. To die untested would be the real crime. People need the opportunity to defend faith. Starting with you. Earn your reward in this life and next. These heretics must die. Be careful! Ah! Do you see, Your Grace? Traitors attacking the very core of the Chantry. They defile with every step. There is death in every corner, young mother. It is as you predicted. All too well. She's on to you, Patrice. Quick, lie harder. Don't you spout your Kunari filth! This is a hand of the Divine! I have ears, Mother Patrice. The Maker would have me use them. Sarah Hawk, is it? Viscount Dumas's son is dead. Killed here in your name. I'm sure my name won't like that. Patrice? Seamus Dumas was a Canari convert. He came here to repent and was murdered. Love or hate the Canari. A blind nun could see she took this too far. No price is too much when we speak of eternity. Eternity is long enough that we need not rush to meet it. They deny the Maker. And you diminish him, even as you claim his side. Andraste did not volunteer for the flame. Sir Ahawk, you stand with the Captain of the Guard? The young mother has erred in her judgment. A court will decide her fate. The Chantry respects the law, and so must she. Grand Cleric? Grand Cleric? We protect those of the Kune. We do not abandon our own. Please, send for Viscount Dumas. My son. Murdered in the heart of the Chantry by those who held a sacred trust. What hope for this city when we fail our own so completely? This is not over, Excellency. The city needs a leader. It does. And I am no longer that person. Please. Hawk. Leave me. <laughs> <laughs> 